Why do swimming pools need two main drains or dual main drains on the floor of the pool? Well, the answer to this relates to safety and specifically an entrapment hazard that exists with single set underwater suction points. In theory, if something were to block this suction point, you could become entrapped because the power of the pump is far greater than what any human being could hope to generate to try to free themselves from this type of entrapment. And over the years, swimming pools have developed to uh, have standards for safety that were definitely not in place in the 60s, 70s, 80s, even. Uh, even modern day swimming pools, you have to be careful. It's, it's not uncommon to find an older swimming pool uh, and you'll find a single main drain on the bottom. And there's, there are some pools, especially vinyl, vinyl liner pools, where a single main drain will be acting as a potential equalizer to the skimmer itself. So in theory, there's not any direct suction to that main drain, whereas other types of pools like concrete pools, for example, with a single main drain, very likely there's active suction to that main drain, which could be, be verified by seeing how many suction pipes there are in front of your swimming pool pump. Very, if one of them says main drain on it, well, very likely that's a direct suction line to the main drain. If you have a single main drain, well, that's an entrapment hazard. And modern day swimming pools, uh, according to the Virginia Graham Baker Act, uh, which are guidelines for safety and anti entrapment in swimming pools, stipulates that you need to have dual drains installed, and those drains need to be a minimum of 36 inches apart. And there's a, a bunch more stipulations as well. This video is not a replacement for reviewing the VGBA, but it does have provisions like the uh, main drains cannot be daisy chained. They have to be hydraulically balanced, which is to say the suction pipe is in the middle and equally goes to each main drain, as opposed to the suction line comes in from the side, picks up one drain, main drain, and then the other. That wouldn't pass a VGBA inspection. And there's more provisions as well. Whatever your total system flow is going to be, let's say 120 gallons per minute is what your system's going to be drawing. Well, the two main drains that you have, each one of those has to be rated to handle the full 120 gallons per minute. It's not 60 and 60 for your rating. And you'll need VGBA approved unblockable drain covers for these drains. And that's uh, you know something that's going to be embossed right into the plastic. You'll be able to read the plastic on the main drain lid itself. And it's going to have the VGBA approved certification number on there. And it's going to have a date as well so you know that it's current or what your model is. And over time, sometimes the rules change and you have to do things like update the drain cover. Or sometimes to a more severe degree, you need to update your main main drains to have a dual suction as opposed to a single suction. Now there are sometimes other workarounds you could explore like adding a uh, vacuum alert device that would, which is added to the suction lines and it's intended to alleviate or open to air that suction line should it detect a blockage. Uh, but as from my experience as a swimming pool builder, I tend to recommend to swimming pool owners, look, if you have a single main drain on the bottom of your pool, just bring in a swimming pool pro, have them take a look at it, tell you, is this main drain active? Like, I mean, sometimes, especially with older pools, these things are deleted. Like they're encased in concrete. They don't actually do anything at all. And you could never hope to make it work again. But there's a lot of them that are out there that, that are still working, that have a single suction line. And I just don't recommend it, especially because modern day swimming pool pumps are very powerful. And it's really common as pool pumps fail over years, people will replace them with a slightly larger model. And then when that fails, the new owner replaces it with a slightly larger model again. And the next thing you know, you've got this Corvette of a, you know, swimming pool pump drawing water like crazy through a single suction main drain, which doesn't even have a VGBA approved unblockable drain cover. The whole thing is a disaster. And that's why modern day swimming pools have dual main drains on the bottom or even further to that, the newest stuff is channel drains can be approved for a single set application. Also, a lot of modern day swimming pools are just abandoning main drains altogether. There is some, uh, some research which shows that you don't actually need main drains on the bottom of a swimming pool in order for the 
filtration of the water and the diffusion of clean heated water into the pools. It doesn't create noticeable thermal clines and you don't have problems with diffusion of water if you have adequate surface skimming and adequate turnover and filtration of the pool water. In theory, you can abandon main drains at all, thereby removing the concern at all for any sort of uh, entrapment hazard associated with the main drain. If that's something that's interesting to you, then you might want to talk to a local swimming pool professional about your options, either with a new swimming pool build that you're considering or evaluating the situation with your existing swimming pool and its main drain setup to see if it's safe or what you can do to make it safer. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.